Hey YouTube, it's Matt here. Welcome to our channel. And today we're back at Fairbanks Ranch touring a second option that Elena and I liked. They give you four options as a buyer when you come down here and look at Fairbanks Ranch home. And of course, into the development, you can put in touches and custom finishes as well. But anyway, this one is three bed, two and a half bath, 2,595 square feet. Let's go in through the front door. First off, let's talk about this entrance. We have some shiplap on the ceiling with faux beams and they're very tall. I would say these are at least 15 foot ceilings. We have a nice little built-in in the cave into the wall where you can put a nice art piece, a big entryway that comes right into your office. And I love offices off the front door. Tell me you wouldn't feel like a boss sitting in this office right now, having it as your own. I want to do a business deal right now sitting here. It is a beautiful office. Very well done. Love the built-in cabinetry. It's absolutely beautiful. It goes all the way to the ceiling. Love the large crown molding around the room, throwing it back. I don't know why more developers don't add touches of crown moldings in home. All the wood in here makes it very warm. Not to mention this giant plank ton and groove flooring all the way up along the wall behind me. And the windows that can see the front of the property and the entrance to your property. So as an office, it's nice to see when your clients are here, you can let them in or unlock the door if you have a smart lock. Anyway, really nice placement, just love this office. This is real wood flooring right here, not vinyl flooring, it's beautiful. It has a nice, almost rougher texture. It's not glossy and I like that, then it isn't slippery. You can see that they left in the points where you could easily install doors into this office to make it more private. Let's come in here, so again, right across from your office and right into the entranceway of the property, you have a half bath for your clients, for guests, awesome layout. We come down this hall and over here to your left, we're going to have bedroom number one. Bedroom number one does not have an ensuite bath, but is a good size. Love the wallpaper they chose on the wall and it does have its own closet. It's a pretty deep sly closet that's giving you a lot of storage. Over here to your left again, we're going to have a shared bathroom between the two bedrooms. If you weren't going to have an ensuite bath for each of the bedrooms, like the other house we toured at this development, it was a really good placement to have a shared bath right in the middle in between. And it's like a galley bathroom. And we're going to have the sink, mirror, big built-in tub setup, like the window over there. That is an awesome touch. You can open it up. We flipped around. So here's that shared bath off here to your right. And now we're coming into the bigger second bedroom. And it's going to be able to fit a much larger bed, have a dresser, have side tables, have another good sized slide closet and it has big beautiful windows to the front of the property and a nice little window they fit in right there beside the bed. Again, something about windows near beds just make it seem cozy to me. Tall ceilings, of course you have in this house your standard can lights built in and speakers. All right, let's walk into the main living space. While this house is smaller than the last one we toured at this development, it is still huge. The ceilings are very tall. And those are, here's the built-in speakers I'm talking about and your uh, family room, living, main living area. You have that wood, ton and groove planking all across the ceiling, the faux beams. You have the same windows on top of your big sliding glass doors out to your patio with the gas fireplace. You have a really nice gas fireplace. I like this one because it's more modern than the other one we toured. It has nice glass sprinkled across it. Pretty tiling. You're going to see the same type of tiling in a second in the kitchen. I like also how they gave this concrete mantle on this house. It's always very nice to have a mantle to put knickknacks and such on. You have two nice built-ins on either side of the fireplace. That'll give you more storage options into this room. All right, and then we have the kitchen, another massive island. They did not downsize the island just because the house got a little smaller. We have our plugs. You can fit a whole family in around this island. I love these metal wire mesh light fixtures. Let's talk about this dark brush stainless finishes on these appliances. Nice touch to do something different. I've seen that is a new thing in appliances. We have a good size pantry walk-in off here to the right. Double ovens, again, a bit off the ground, so it's nice you don't have to go so low. We have our stainless sink, our dark, dark brown, nearly black steel finishes. Goes really good with this concrete countertop. And we're gonna have your gas cooktop. Got your fan, 
got your microwave on this side opposite the double oven so it's a nice balance all real wood of course cabinetry custom built again i like how they didn't bring the cabinets all the way to the ceiling they left not only a display ledge at the top but you can reach the cabinets even the ones above the hood because of that this tile that they chose to make the backsplash out of is beautiful a nice bluish color with raised diamond textures across it i thought that was really neat and just a little detail to show you and not only do we have these beautiful green colored cabinets again all wood but we have your dishwasher right here built in the island i really like how instead of putting the dishwasher somewhere over here it is right by the sink so you do the dishes put it in the dishwasher well thought out such a cute dining nook i don't need to say anything else it's adorable it's situated perfectly in the house they brought back in that nice shiplap all across the ceiling with the faux beams and we have windows all around and a slide door right there so it really makes a nice bright area for you to eat you can fit a huge table in here this does have an patio right off of that living space not quite as large as the other house we saw but it's still a really nice size and you have your gas fireplace over here they brought in that nice stone like we saw in the other fireplace gives it that classic look for an outdoor fireplace and we have your tv hookups and outdoor plugs just beautiful area to sit and enjoy a nice california day coming off the family room we have a closet over here a nice coat closet to your right over to your left we're gonna have one of elena's favorite themes and it's like a a fancy mud room we have this nice wood planking all up and down the walls on this side of the house which is really nice makes it a very warm feel the custom cabinetry on this mud room is absolutely wonderfully done all the way to the ceiling and you have benches you have stuff to put your coats your backpacks i love the folding mirror at the end so you can see yourself before you go outside this is the garage Right here, we have a very nice, large laundry room. You can have your washer dryer, you have your sink, plenty of storage for all of your stuff to do your laundry and more. We have a nice textured blue tile under my feet. It's a very interesting finish. It feels like vinyl. All right, so again, right behind Elena, who's holding the camera, is the entrance to your garage. So you pull into your sick new house, you get out, you kick open the door, you're right by the mudroom, you put your shoes off, you come straight into your master. Off to the right, we're going to have a very long master closet. So if you remember the size of the master on the other one, this one is smaller, but it is longer. And it is very long, it gives you plenty of room, you have plenty of room to do custom cabinetry in the space and make it your own. Over here, you have an awesome master, you have dual vanity sinks fabricated to be undermounted underneath the cutout fabricated countertops which is awesome gives it such a sleek finish massive mirror fills the wall edge to edge and they even gave these little side mirrors wait are these medicine cap they're medicine cabinets love medicine cabinets they're not utilized enough and built these days i love to see that and both of his and hers we have a water closet over here to your left and then of course we have your walk-in shower. You've got your white classic subway tiles and they have a nice contrast, little black square tiles on the floor. It gives it a very clean look, classic look, plenty of room in here. And then again, you have a giant freestanding tub in this bathroom. And behind me, you're gonna have the master bedroom. Now they took all of that wood planking you've seen throughout the house and they just finished it off by blasting it all up and down the walls on here. They took that big crown molding that they had in the office and put it on the master as well. Makes it very warm, feel very grand. Huge viewing window, sitting nook, can fit a, the biggest bed you could fit in here. They have windows on either side of the bed, two side tables. What more do you need? 